All right, here's an experiment in uh, record cleaning. This is an untouched album. And you can still see it's got dust on the uh, on the surface, so I'm not cleaning that off. And uh, we'll see what it sounds like using an old needle. Jonah Jones, by the way. Put this over near the speaker. some mechanical issues. Oop, CD fell. Pretty scratchy. Let's get rid of that surface dust. Let's see what we got here. This is something uh, that you can get on. I've seen it on television. I picked this up at uh, Walgreens for about one tenth the cost. Same thing. The polymer was sticky. Right for removing cat hair, dust, whatever. And I'm going to remove some of the surface dust. Let's try it again with the surface dust off. Let me get my you know, clean. Here we go. Still a pops and crackles because of the dust stuck deep in the groove. course that scratch. All right. Enough of that. Okay. I'm going to shut this off and uh, get it ready for the next phase. And I think I'll uh, work on getting rid of that uh, that scratch. Doesn't look like much, does it? I've got the area, and that's going to be right there. And we're going to wet it down a little bit. Wet my 1500 sandpaper down. And just gently go over that. Just enough. And I'm not putting any pressure at all, hardly at all, on that on that surface. And I know I won't be able to get rid of the all of the scratches, and there they are right there. But all I want to do is knock the land down where they uh, cross over into the 
of the groove. Okay, this is side two that we're looking at. And uh, I've already done side one, so there's no sense in showing you that that's something very good. We're going to set it up in here with my power washing system. And uh, shouldn't be too long. Clamp it down snug. Close the top. Dawn detergent in the corners. And turn the power on. Come on. There we go. And I'm just going to uh, run this around probably about five minutes. And make sure all the soap gets in and uh, the Pressure washer has a chance to pull the loose stuff out and the stuff that the uh, detergent can separate from the from the vinyl. Okay, that should be about it. Let's turn this off. Open her up and uh, pull it out. And then fiber cloth to clean out the grooves. Okay, let's try this out here. See how we we did. See how it sounds. You can see the uh, I don't know if you can see the flat spot not the flats but the sanded spots going around. And that's where we're going to be looking for that, uh, that tick. Well, the power rush got the majority of the uh, snap cracker and pops out, but I can still hear uh, some in the background there, so we'll need to do a little more work on that. Well, it's still there a little bit, but not nearly so prevalent. This is polishing compound. Again, water-based. And I've tried this on the opposite side of the album which is may have been what was the white stuff that was on the grooves because that washed out without any problem Let's see what that did. Oh yeah. Still a little uh, dull, but uh, I can work that out. Depending on how much you want to do that, I'll show you one other material. This is diamond paste. And what I have here is uh, it's extremely expensive. But if you're 
so concerned about the, the look of your album. And you want to keep it looking brand new. This is the coarsest of the three common sizes. And using a hard rubber pad, we'll only polish the lands and not the grooves. And I do use water. My down again. I'm going to do something that I'll get a lot of comments about, but I'm going to show you what happens. So, here we go, goo gone. Oh, I didn't do my, uh, my block and bar cleaner which I should probably do. But you know what this is? This is a uh, regular record brush. I forget the type name of the company that uh, came out with it, but everybody's familiar with it. This one's kind of shot, but I'm just going through it here and I'm laying that stuff down in there. Again, putting it on the forward portion. And as we go around, Cleaning up the what's in there in the groove. This stuff takes a minute to dry, so I'm going to help it out a little bit here. My microfiber cloth, just to clean up the the excessive moisture. And then take my carbon fiber brush again. My turntable floats, so that's why it's bouncing around a bit. We actually will hear it. Try it one more time. Let's clean the needle. This is Joda Jones. Whoa, you didn't hear that. Perfect. Just as it was, it was cut. Get into an area where there's more scratches. You can hear some of the other scratches on the album, but I will get rid of those the same way I got rid of most of the first one, which was pretty deep as it turned out but uh, I can still sand a little more down on that. 
But uh, this is my first video instructable. Hope you enjoyed it.